What is happening, ladies and gents? Slime it here playing some VA dash II Hall dash A. <laughs> also, known as Cyberpunk Bartender Action Valhalla. It's a. <laughs> uh, I think it's a visual novel with bartending, uh, mixing action. It's a adventure, regardless. And I hope you'll join me on it. So let's just hop right in and see what the hell this game actually is. Holy shit, it's actually done. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back and relax. I hope you have a good time. Mmm. I just burned my tongue. Let's go. That was coffee. Not the drinks they're talking about. Anna. Psst. Hey. Like, over here. Boo! How's that for an entrance? Oh, come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. What? Dogs in suits? Ridiculous. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is like 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side of things is, but you should totally find it. Like, in any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya! Oh. <sighs> it's just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Chapter 1. Primera. Your membership to Shining Fingering, excuse me, will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure you save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Hmm. Who is four? What is a four? And there's me, I think, Jill. Is the cat four? <laughs> so, who was the letter from? Nobody. Um, let's... Oh, the boss has got a cape on. Is he a magician? Let's find out. Let's check our phone. We've got... Sweet tunes. Ooh. Yeah. I can feel it, girl. Can you feel it, girl? I hope not. Please don't feel it, girl. The Augmented Eye. Is this the newspaper? <sighs> Would you leave? Not without you. Let's find out what they're talking about. So apparently read this first, then read this. Mass immigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments by Kimberly Lavalette. Not Lava Lamp, but Lavalette. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries and rampant violent crime, glitch cities citizens look for a better life in other countries. Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools and your universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the Augmented Eye. But they apply what they learn elsewhere, somewhere else, I mean, and I find it rather insulting. This comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shh! <laughs> Squiggly! Concluded Quincy. I see. Would you leave? Not without you. Alright. Wonderlanders are the newest threat to your security. Beware. Again. This lady writes every article. If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as big as Alice but Rabbit, <laughs> but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threat issues issued against Prime Minister Quincy. Uh, okay. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and will release the whole database this January. The group declared during its stream, Shallow Threats. When questioned, 
Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all of the group's threats by stating he's not hiding anything, except for all that porn, and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Wild parties. The people behind the Wonderlanders seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes during the stream. From Anthro, sure, to Bunny Girl. The purpose was to show that they love and respect that they have for Alice Rabbit and their role in today's policies. We want to follow their example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. I wonder what Alma thinks of this whole thing. I don't know who Alma is. Uh, Cyborg in heels returns next year to Super Silver Thunderdome. You pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge at the Thunderdome. Two men enter, one man leave. How many other Thunderdome things do we know? The popular show Cyborg and Heels in the City returns to the Dome this March with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hader, man, he's a hater, explains Cyborg and Heels special appeal during an exclusive interview with the augmented eye. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Check out the full interview in the next few weeks exclusively here at the Augmented Eye. His acting is unnatural. I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anyways. I think that's all we got on here, right? We can back up our life. Saved. Boom. Completed. Um, we have no dollars. We can't shop, but we can go to work. Can I go on a slut outfit? Can I drag her? Can I get into her safe? Can I pet the cat? I can't. Go to work. Tuesday, December 13th, I think it said. It ended real quick. Good evening. Ah, uh, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? Oh, when you let the people call you Jules. Ah, oh, quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's the boss? I don't know. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? Uh, you said something? Ah, uh, yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. That's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff and things because reasons. One of these is too loud and I'm not sure which one it is. This one? Is it only in my headset? It might be. All right. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful and ah. It's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that Two days ago, I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So, not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering Forte, for neutering the cat, left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment, and... Jill! Oh, sorry, did you say something? Uh, can you really work today? Of course I can. Hmm. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case you're forgetting how to do all the things you learned in school. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar at the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks and buy flavors like sweet or types like manly, like me. Haha. <laughs> Drag with the desired amount of ingredients from the cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Kill. When done, press and mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it. And that'll be all. And then the lady's panties, whoosh, gone in a second. I mean, no, but if the drink looks messed up, you should probably press the reset button, throw it trash, or drink it yourself, whatever. And try again. Give it to the homeless guy outside. 
You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Yeah, I'm the one that went through the formal bartending tactical counter-terrorism instruction. Then it should be no problem. <sighs> Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, you can press reset button and try again. Alrighty. I would like to sort by the name of he wanted a sugar rush. But he said if I make... No. But if I make Piano Man... now we'll go Sugar Rush. Boom. He'll give me 150 Deleros. How much is the other one worth? Hold on. Whoa. Whoa now. The Piano Man's worth 320. Two of these. Three Bronstons. Five Powdered. Five Flangerides. Oops. Not aged. Cool. And three of whatever that word is. All on the rocks and mixed. Boom. But how long do I mix? Boom. Success. Piano Man. I am the greatest. What is these slots for? I have clicked a slot. It has been clicked. I would like to serve this drink to the man. Here. Happy? Yes. Very. I stand corrected. Now let's get working. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm. You could make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Uh, just like my penis. What? I mean, inappropriate work comment. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmotrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional carmotrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. What? It's uh, the local alcoholic factor in the drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. And don't get me drunk and then take advantage of me in the closet. Mwah. What? Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Dana. What does Dana sound like? Hey guys! Oh, eh? Who's that? I don't know. I found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside in the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. It's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Ah, uh, you can just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do. Damn it. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that was the case. It's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. Yes, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay, then time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working. While you go clean the bathroom. Ah, oh, come on, again? Ah, oh. while you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. They shit everywhere, also dogs. They also shit everywhere, but the people, gross. Lots of them. Ah, you're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke about fecal matter? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Ah, uh, just that fine. I mean, I see no problem. I love toilets and poops. Where's the cleaning stuff again? I've never had this job before. God, here it is. Oh, you brought that from home, didn't you? Well, that I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. That's a good call. 
Let's see. What does our playlist for the evening sound like? Start with a little, a little of that, do ya? Yeah. And then, mm, you dri then you get driven wild by all the hot ladies. Yeah. And then, I don't even know what that word is. Um, then you buy a billion drinks. All systems go. Um, then you definitely have some nighttime maneuvers. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. You, uh, you really want that star to pierce the dark. You know what I'm saying. Um, you, the dawn is approaching though, and still, you know, nothing's, nothing's happening. The drinks aren't working. Um, been, you know, you know, been following the ladies' trails, but, you know, you just, you're not getting to the heart of the city, if you know what I'm talking about. Now things are getting tense. Um, you've been buying your drinks all night. Still, you know... <sighs> Still not getting there. Um, you're uh, you're wondering where to go from there, and if she'll remember you. Um, but then, you're so drunk you haven't even no idea who you are anymore. Booyah! Time to mix drinks and change lives. Change from being not drunk to being drunk. Hey you! Get me a beer. Look at my stash. Oh sure, right on it. He wants a beer. He looks like quite a big guy, though. I don't know what that means. Am I supposed to make it bigger, then? I want to make... a manly drink. But it's beer? I... Um... Just a beer. Gotcha. But I could double it, since he's a big guy. Let's try it. Let's put two of those. Four of those. A couple of those bad boys. And then eight. All mixed. Booyah. Oh, yeah. It's that. Fa what? Fail? But. But. But I... Let's try it one more time, and then we'll just try it basic. Oh, I didn't put four in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two. Two. He said I could double them. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Sun. By the, oh, oh, fine. God damn it. I'll just make you your freaking basic drink, you scumbag. Boom. I think I have to stop it before it starts wiggle shaking. Nah, yeah, here's your beer. Wah. Here you go. Oh no. This isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um. Sure. That beer wasn't enough, apparently. What an alcoholic. I mean, I tried to make it big. Didn't they say I could double it? Hmm. Beer falls under classic drink, huh? So, I make it big. I thought it said I made it big, but did I get that wrong? I need to add multiples of this to make it bigger. Maybe I add regular ingredients and then double this one. I mean, that seems like a lot of booze. I'm not gonna lie, do I let it shake twice as long? No. All right. Let's try it with... twice as much of the bonus candy. Fail, damn it. Hmm. I think I forgot how to make big drinks then, apparently. I'm gonna make this guy unhappy and just make him another regular beer. 
<laughs> I was like, what? But I... That's not what I wanted. Success. Here you go. Regular old beer. And now... I said a big one, brat. Big! Like my dick! Forget it. <sighs> These two will have to do. I've gone flaccid just like my dick. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like to Jersey 3. Huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessing. Oh my god, the day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey! People love those articles. They love reading about the urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? Oh, it's the kind of corny shit that brings the clients, or the clicks, I mean, from all kinds of people. Almost as good as pornography. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Like cock rings. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Uh, well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculation or copycats. I can't read your newspaper daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. Poor bastards think it'll help make full-time employees. <laughs> stupid people. Oh, stupid poor people. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker? But not all the daily stories are about murderers and all their horrors. Stupid horrors. Well, wait, that's not her. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want one to start my day scarred and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to their list. You're smarter than you look, kid. You look friggin' dumb. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? Well, people get dis... Uh, dissense... Ah, people get bored of certain kinds of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, only took some news and some elderly women being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carried in a stick baby. Wait, a sick baby? Boy, getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up shit you want. <laughs> Spam them while they're hot. Even people like you, stupid people. People who avoided the murder stories will see them. That brings money, and I, like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic, too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everybody else. They might also write about how everybody likes that certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about it is they know half of our clicks come from them, so... They get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No. Wait, I was just thinking of another newspaper, yeah. Columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, uh, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's, uh... Nah, that kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyways, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. Wait, how so? Well, he rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. <laughs> Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Oh, it wasn't this one then. Uh, I may have had a code error just now. Hold on. <laughs> code error. I would like to relaunch 
Please? Please, game, have you saved at all? Oh, God. What if the savings have not been saved? Also, please make it full screen. Thank you. Um, no big deal. It happens. <laughs> oh, God. I think... I think we only have a room. No! Oh, God. Ah. Uh, oh, no. All right, I'll be right back. 